What's good y'all, Tristan here, and today we're going to be going over 10 things that will shock you about Australia. Now my first one is all of the really cool animals here that you probably didn't even know about. Everyone associates like kangaroos and koalas with Australia, but there are a whole lot of other animals here that are unique to Australia and a lot of them are actually related to the kangaroo and I just never knew about them before I came here. They have wallabies, which no, those are not kangaroos, that's a different animal than a kangaroo. Patamelons, batongs, hodoroos, tree kangaroos, and quite possibly my favorite, Quokas. However, I've not yet seen a quokka, but I sure am looking forward to it. I don't know why of all these animals the kangaroo is the famous one that we all like associate with Australia, but yeah, so many cool animals over here. Now the next one is like a two-parter. You'll, you'll be shocked by one of these facts. So you're either going to be shocked by how many freaking poisonous animals there are over here. Australia has so many deadly poisonous animals that can kill you within seconds. They're known for the brown snake, but there's about three, four, five other snakes here that can kill you. There's a whole bunch of spiders that can kill you, but beyond that there are huge saltwater crocodiles. There are cassowaries, which are the most deadly bird on the planet. I mean, just look at those claws. They have blue ringed octopus, which I think might be the most deadly animal, like out of all animals on the planet, you die within minutes. There are stonefish and there are deadly jellyfish. The box jellyfish can kill you within a couple hours if you get stung. And probably the animal that terrorizes Australians the most is the magpie. Even though it is not deadly, it is a bird and it will swoop down and attack you, try pecking out your eyeballs, so watch out for it. But the second part of this shock is that you're probably actually not even going to encounter any of these animals or you're definitely most likely not going to die from them. Even though they're dangerous, they kill very few people. Believe it or not, these are the most deadly animals in Australia. As you can see, like cows and horses kill more people than any of these animals. Other mammals and bees are also more deadly. And then once you get past all those common items that we're, we're not scared of, then you get to all marine life deaths combined. That includes shark attacks, I don't know, blue ringed octopus, stonefish, all those combined. And then you get to snakes. So yeah, not that deadly. Those are the death toll numbers over a 10 year period. The next thing that will shock you about Australia is how freely they use the word cunt. It's like not even a bad word here. Like it's like equal probably to like how we use the word like damn in America. Like it's it's really not bad. You know, like you're talking about a good friend of yours and you go, oh yeah, I mean like he's a sick I will say it does fit the Australian accent really well. I like as an American here, I still don't say it just because it feels wrong and I don't know. I just don't think that word works with an American accent. But if you're Australian, you can get away with it. All right, now this next one will probably be the most important thing I will tell you because if you come here, it will definitely help. And that is you can pump your gas or you do pump your gas before you pay. So when most Americans come to Australia, they go up to the gas station and they don't see a place to pay. And so they go into the side and they said, hey, like, can I have so much money on this pump because that's what they're used to. The way you get gas in Australia is completely different and I've talked about before how you have to pay inside but what really shock people is that you actually can just go up to a gas station, not pay at all, grab the pump, stick it in your car and start pumping gas. Like you could literally go fill your tank up and drive off. However, don't do that because there are cameras and they'll get your license plate and you'll be getting a hefty fine mailed to you. So if you're getting gas in Australia, go up, pump the gas and then you're going to go inside and pay for the gas after you've already pumped it. Now my next one is it is not hot here all the time. I think people think of Australia as like a very like beachy hot sunny place year round that is not the case maybe in northern Australia but there are parts of Australia that have like mountains and snow and like they really do have pretty much all climates here and speaking of climates most of Australia is actually a desert or at least very like dry lands almost the entire Australian population is right around the coast and not even all the coast just in a couple cities the population of the metropolitan area around the five biggest cities in Australia is 15.5 million people and the population of all of Australia is 24 million people people. So over half the country just lives in five cities. If that doesn't blow your mind, check out this giant area of Western Australia. Like this is a huge portion of land. And if you took out the biggest city, Perth, this whole area would only have a population of about 750,000. Probably even a little bit crazier, this Northern Territory right here, another huge area of land. The population of that whole area is just over 200,000. And if you took out the biggest city in it, Darwin, then you'd be left for only 80,000 people in the whole rest of the area. Like that's the enough people to like fit in a football stadium and yet they're dispersed throughout an entire state. If you're driving through the outback, it is not common to literally see a sign that will say like, no gas for 400 kilometers, get gas now. America's a big country, but the thought that you can just drive for hundreds and hundreds of miles without seeing anything, and like even in America, you, you usually see something. Like even though if there's not much there, it's still, it's still like cornfields, it's still, it's still something, you know, someone lives there. There are places in Australia where there are like nothing, like nothing, nothing. Now something that shocked me when I came here was you can actually eat kangaroo. To me this seemed weird because like kangaroos are like their national animal, like it's it doesn't seem like something you should eat. However, when you get here you'll see like kangaroos, wallabies, like they're really not that special. They're like our like deer, I don't know, like they're just, they're just everywhere. There's actually more kangaroos in Australia than there are people. But also if you eat kangaroo, you'll probably be shocked by the taste. It's not like a typical meat, it's really tough 
um, but it's also really lean. So I don't know. It, it, it's not like any other meat. You, you should definitely try it if you come here. And now related to that, something else that really shocked me and I found sad about Australia, especially like if you're in like Tasmania, but like I really saw it, I've seen it in a lot of places, is there are so many dead animals on the side of the road here, especially and like these animals are usually kangaroos. A bunch of the animals I mentioned earlier, plus uh, wombats, Tasmanian devils, they, they, a lot of them come to the road for, I don't know, I've heard a couple reasons why they like the lights from the car. I've also heard that the roads are warm, so they keep them warm. But the animals naturally come to the road and you'll see them standing on the road or right on the side of the road, like, all the time. And unfortunately, it's not the best situation and a lot of cars do hit them. So I know in America we have a service that goes around and, like cleaning up dead animals. I'm not sure if they have that here. I'm guessing they do in the cities. But when you're in Tasmania or just in the outback going between cities, you're going to see a lot more dead animals on the road here than you will see in America. Sorry to put a damper on this video, but yeah, it is the truth. I hate to say it. Most likely, the first kangaroo you're going to see in Australia is not going to be alive. That was at least the case for me. Um, another thing that will shock you when you get to Australia, pretty much shocks everyone, is that Australia has some of the most highly priced tobacco and alcohol. Alcohol is probably going to be two or three times the price of what you're used to paying in the States. And tobacco, uh, I don't know about, it's going to be like 20 to 30 bucks for a pack of cigarettes. Now my last one, it's kind of hard to word, but it's just like Australians aren't that typical surfer dude that you think of. I had a very strong stereotype of what I thought an Australian was kind of like when coming here. You know, I thought, especially like the guys, like typical like surfer dude, long hair, uh, you know, always at the beach, just really chilled, laid back. Yes, there are surfer dudes here, but that is a rather small part of the population. In my experience, Australians, at least guys, have been a lot more like kind of rough, brew, I don't know, uh, unkept. I don't think they put as much effort into their hygiene or like looks as much as Americans do. I mean, the mullet is in style here. I don't know. They're, as a whole, they're just typical, more rowdy. Not mean, but just they banter with their friends. You know, they, they, they jab. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I like them, but you just kind of have to have thick skin if you're with them. It's a shock that isn't really something you can explain, but something you'll just have to experience when you come here. Another shock I'm not going to talk too much about, but I'm sure you'll find out when you get here is the drop bears. You really got to look out for them. And if you don't know what a drop bear is, well, I'm sure you'll find out once you get here. If you'd like to see the reasons why I think Australia is better than America, or would you like to see 10 things that I hate about Australia, check out those videos right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.